In our quest for knowledge here at Broadcast Show, we've asked the question, what does it take to destroy a Peli case? And we've attempted to answer that with a series of tests, but yet we have not come to a complete answer. Well, today, my friends, that changes. Today, the Peli case will fulfill its destiny. Today, we blow it up. So in an attempt to catch every angle of uh, this explosion, uh, we've got Rob here from Sky Power. Um, we've met before briefly. Uh, we have. We have. Rob, tell us a little bit about what you're flying today. Well, we've got an octocopter, um, eight engines, eight blades, uh, with a camera slung underneath. Um, this is great. We can yeah. get some really good dynamic shots with it. We can get a little bit higher, get a good perspective down yeah. on hopefully the Peli case holding together. <laughs> um, so yes, that's why we're here. Brilliant, Rob. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing the footage from it. Excellent. Brilliant. So at the opposite end of the spectrum to the Opticopter, we've got uh, this, our trusty little Fostex unit uh, that we're going to put an iPhone in. Uh, normally when you blow things up, you want to get as many angles as possible. So, well, we had it, so we're going to use it. I'll give you a little walk through what else we've got here. Uh, here we have my trusty AF-101. Uh, we've got a uh, quite a big zoom lens on this. So this is getting us a very close shot of the case. And um, as we walk around, we haven't positioned everything yet, but I'll show you roughly the sort of kit that we're using. Uh, GoPros, of course, wouldn't be a uh, effect shoot without some kind of GoPro on the, on the job. Um, over here, we have a JVC 750 operated uh, by our gun toting Matt here, who's uh, filming uh, Simon, filming him who's filming Simon, filming him. Um, we'll come and talk to Richard in a minute, who is uh, operating a pole camera with an FS700, and he's gonna be getting us our super slow-mo shots. Uh, we have a couple of 7Ds. No, we don't, we have a couple of 5Ds. Uh, one here, and this is a 5D. Uh, this is, looks like this is a 20D. I think that's probably just doing some stills. So that's gonna be here. Over here, just because we can, We've got a uh, little Toshiba mini cam, the sort of thing that you would put on the end of a pole cam uh, with a super wide angle on it. That's hopefully going to get us a wide shot uh, of the case as it goes up in the air. Uh, we'll see what that brings. And finally, on the actual uh, Peli case itself, we have uh, another Marta GoPro, which uh, if it survives, uh, will give us an interesting shot and cunningly hidden in the back just over there to a right we have a, another GoPro. So with all these angles we hope that we're going to get uh, something quite spectacular when this thing goes up. Uh, let's go talk to Richard. With me is Richard Hookins. Now Richard is our pole cam operator and if you don't know about a pole cam then you haven't watched enough broadcast shows and go and look it up. Uh, Richard what are we shooting on today? Um, so today we're using the long head, the new long head, so it's capable of taking the heavier cameras like the FS700, yep. C300 um, and 5D and other DSLRs. Uh, it can take a payload of about four kilos um, and the, the setup time is exactly the same, so nothing's changed. Yep. It's just as portable, just as versatile. Um, today we're using the FS700, so we're hoping just to get some elevation, so no, no crazy moves, yep. but just a high nice high angle shot at 400 frames a second. Richard, brilliant. We will look forward to seeing the footage on it. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers. So talented as we are here at Broadcast Show, one thing we don't like to play with is things that go bang. So we've brought in an expert with us. Hi, Tim. Hi. Uh, now, you're not just like the local guy around the corner who knows a bit about explosives. You've worked on a few films in your time. Uh, yes. Tell us a bit about what you've been doing. Well, I've done uh, three uh, of the Bond films. Yeah. Uh, I was the pyrotechnic uh, engineer on the Captain Crelly's mandolin yeah. in charge of all the explosives on that. Uh, I've worked on oh, 27 feature films uh, and um, have learnt quite a, a lot yep. uh, throughout the years. Um, military background, uh, and it's come to this now. <laughs> come to blowing up a Peli case. <laughs> a Peli case yes. in the field. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, as you say, you're used to things that go bang. Um, do you want to show us what's under this case? Yes, of course. We have a steel mortar pot which allows the direction of the blast not to go sideways, yep. but to come, the direction will be coming straight up in the air. 
Yep. We have a black powder lifting charge, and we also have a flash pot that will create white smoke and a red, red flash. So we're not just talking about something that's going to go uh, pop and a little bit of flash and bang, but we're talking about something that's got some actual force coming up exactly. on it. Exactly, yes. yes. Well, I'm going to look forward to this one. Thanks very much, Tim. Let's You're put the case welcome. back and give it a go. Okay. Okay, so as you'll see, we are using the case uh, that we shot at in the previous test. Uh, it's still a substantial working case, so uh, we thought we'd give it a go. What we do know, of course, it has a uh, broken lock on the side, which came from when we dragged it through the water, and a little bit of a bent hinge. But other than that, this is a perfectly working case, so we're going to uh, use this one. Um, we have, of course, put something in it. Let me open. There you can see the uh, GoPro on the top. We'll see if that survives. And... Um, it's exactly the same case that we shot at and inside we have the uh, you still see a little bit of debris from when we shot we've got the uh, trusty wine glass which uh, survived the shooting um, we've replaced the apple with an egg uh, I've been assured that this is from a local chicken uh, which is wandering around and uh, is whole and not hard-boiled so uh, we'll leave that in there and just see how well this case we do we'll do we'll uh, put this back Close it up. Give this a good close here. There we go. And uh, here's the cable to uh, detonate the explosives underneath. I say let's give it a go. Everybody ready? Here we go. And action. Please tell me you got that in answer as to how far the case will go. Um, a long way. Did the case survive a charge underneath it? No. Uh, let's go and have a look. Okay. Are you happy? Uh, right. Yeah, this uh, this was quite impressive. Uh, I'm feeling the GoPro may not have survived. Let's go for a look. There's the back. Let's go for a GoPro hunt. Uh, <laughs> needless to say, <laughs> the glass didn't survive. Uh, we have <laughs> various pieces of burning debris. Uh, I'm looking for a GoPro. Anybody seen a GoPro? Well this went that way. This was uh... <laughs> look at this. <laughs> okay oh we found the GoPro. Here's a go oh the GoPro case. Hold on hold on. you know what? We have a GoPro. This I've got to check. We have a GoPro case. I mean, obviously the card's intact and plugs in. I could really do with finding a battery. Do you know what? I'm kindly, quietly confident here. Sky power up there doing their bit. Oh, what have we got over here? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I found a battery. Excuse the noise in the mic, but uh, let's give it a little wipe.
How do you switch your GoPro on? Okay, I can safely say at the moment this GoPro is not switching on. Uh, it looks okay, it looks okay though. Um, it's not switching on, but that could just be the battery. We will come back to this. It's in one piece, that's the main thing. Helicopter blowing stuff all over the place. Well, there we go. I would say we have fulfilled our mandate and we have uh, tested a Pelly Case 1600 to destruction. In answer to the question, if you were to uh, accidentally place your Pelly Case on top of some high explosives with your kit in it, the Pelly Case is strong, but it ain't that strong. Please tell me you got that. <laughs>